Hey guys, today we're going to do The Sumerian Beyond the Black River, issue number one by uh, Blaze Comics, uh, written by Matthew Giabella and Anthony Jean. Well, it's drawn by Anthony Jean, great artist, by the way. Um, and I'm slowly becoming a big fan of the uh, Blaze series because they are doing the Conan series justice. Basically, they using the... Um, how do you say it? the written comic, the written books of uh, Robert E. Howard's, and they transform it into the the Conan uh, uh, comic series. And uh, I also got the, um, this one. This is the hardcover, uh, so volume one and two. Uh, I need to check that out as well. Uh, looks really really cool, um, uncensored. So yeah, you see lots of violence and nudity, um, etc. And for me, basically, I'm a big fan of you know. The Conan that we all love and know, you know, that, you know, from Marvel and then coming to Dark Horse, but then now going back to Marvel again. The problem is um, Marvel is, doesn't do anything good, in my opinion, with the with Conan. Uh, so uh, I'm not buying those comics because it's Marvel. Marvel sucks nowadays. So I'm looking elsewhere. And then, well, fortunately, I'm... You know, seeing comics like this, and I'm, you know, picking that up, and then I'm reading them, and I'm really enjoying that. Um, so let's dive in. Um, so we start at the jungle in the province of Kona Johara, which is um, they call Pict or Picti country, and it's a very dense jungle. And we see some drum sounds going on, and this guy is being hunted by someone. But then um, he uh, he's getting attacked. And then this mysterious guy comes out and um, basically he says, yeah, you can come out. The threat is over. And this guy is saved, uh, this young man, from being killed. And then um, because there are, this is a, a Pict and the Pict wants to get their country back get their country back because there are settlers there. The king sent some people over there. So there's a settlement and there's soldiers and the Picts are getting, how do you say, driven away from their country and they do not like that. But there's also a Black River and the legend says that no white man uh, has ever can uh, cross the, uh, the White River and come back alive. Um, so that's cool. And the pig basically wants to, you know, drive the, the invaders away uh, with deadly force and with also supernatural force. A um, little bit of a spoiler here. Um, so this this young man says, I'm Baltus. And he's basically more a, um, how do you say, a, a peasant, a, a guy that wants to volunteer himself helping the settlers. But he's not sure of that yet. And the guy that saves him, and I was a little bit surprised, um, this is Conan. I said, what? What do you mean, Conan? Conan doesn't look like that. Cousin Conan doesn't, you know, has that haircut, that goatee, these clothes. Um, but I think, but, you know, I can't be wrong, that Blaze um, tried to do different things with the Conan universe and also um, depict Conan in a different way. I'm not sure if I like that because when I look at, when I think about Conan, I have only one guy in my head and that was, you know, uh, 80s, 90s Marvel and um, Dark Horse Conan, you know, with the, uh, you know, you know who we're talking about. That is Conan, in my opinion. That is Conan in my head. But, you know, they do something differently and I'm not opposed to that. But sometimes it doesn't feel like this is Conan. He talks very, how do you say, sophisticated. Uh, he talks a lot and Conan is not mostly a, a, a man of words. Um but maybe, and I think that's the case, that they are, that this Conan is now older, wiser, um, you know, and that he's grown into, um, you know, into another character, I guess. So, moving on. Um, so, uh, the story is about that, well, I told you that the, the Picts want to, uh, to get their, uh, <clears throat> how do you say, their, their country back, and... Um, and then and Conan tells about the story that um, the Sumerians find, uh, you know, swept over the hills and it was a massacre. And um, because Conan tells where he comes from and uh, how he knows what it is to be driven away and then come back and then basically getting revenge on the people that drove him out. 
And uh, he says, well, I'm the Sumerian. I am the, the one that pushed those people back in the day uh, back and killed all of them. So uh, Baltus is a little bit, uh, you know, surprised by that. And they find a body because there was a scream and there was this merchant, I believe. And he's dead. He's been decapitated. And it seems, um, spoiler a little bit more, that um, the story was that they, and Baltus said, well, maybe there, there was a, a creature. Well, Conan says, no, creatures doesn't decapitate humans. And he tells a story about a wizard. And it's a wizard called, um, let's see. Damn, my eyes are getting worse and worse. A forest demon? No, no, no. Oh, yeah. Zogar Zag. And Zogar Zag is, uh, wants to unite all the pigs because there are different factions, different groups in that country. Uh, basically, they are doesn't like and hate each other, but they the wizard wants to bring them together. And um, But then um, some kind of a woodsman, you know, uh, lured uh, Zogar uh, to the uh, to the merchants and, and the people from the fort, and they um, they locked him away. But that for them, for Zogar Zar is that the, and, the, and the pigs is that the ultimate insult. So Zogar um, escapes, and then a couple of days later, people are disappearing from the from the compound. It seems that they hear some kind of a drum or a, a sound, and they are being hypnotized. I mean, they look hypnotized. They're going out of the side of the camp, and they're being found dead, decapitated. So there's stuff going on. So uh, moving on a little bit. Um, we go to the um, to the compound or to the to the settlement. Well, I mean, the art looks great, absolutely great. I really love it. And um, well, the soldiers told about the story that the the merchant is you know what what happened, and now they see him here dead. Uh, Kona meets up with uh, with one of the well the leaders of the settlement, and um, well, and Conan is basically hired by these guys to protect them. And um, Conan explains the situation, what's happened. And what I didn't know is that um, Conan addresses him as a um, as a Hyborian. And then I thought to myself, well, uh, is Red Sonja a Hyborian? She's a Hyborian warrior? She comes from Hyboria, uh, I think. So I, I like that. I like that, that, that crossover thing, even though it's not... Because normally it's Conan and Red Sonja meeting each other. But now I also... Different people from that country, you know, meeting each other, talking to each other, etc., etc. So, basically, they come up with a plan. Well, not much of a plan. Uh, the soldiers are getting scared because they are, they are, no, they are, you know, being outnumbered. And um, they want to kill uh, the sorcerer before they, he is, you know, getting the whole clans together. So, Conan and, um, and Baltus... Um, going on a journey and to uh, to prevent that, you know, kill him before he do that. So he, they go at night, and um, skip me a few pages. So, and um, they uh, he, he going with a group of people, and then we see all these pigs coming out of the water, and then the next thing is that they are being captured, and they are too late, and with too late, I mean. The, the sorcerer has gathered all of the clans, as you can see here, with, from different factions and different looks and different groups and all these, well, people are dead. Zolta comes, um, Balta then spits him in the face, and then the other guy is getting killed by this really, really big tiger. And it seems that they are being sacrificed in different ways. First of all, this very unhuman looking, well, he's not human, but, you know, this really big tiger comes and rips that dead guy apart. And then out of nowhere, uh, a big snake comes. And the, the pigs didn't do anything. They are just standing there like um, that this creature is being summoned somehow to kill him. And then out of nowhere, uh, arrows fling at the... is getting flung at the... Uh, well, the, 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 the snake is getting shot by the arrow. And the snake is going wild. And then Conan, um, you know, basically uh, frees Baltus and then they get the fuck out of there. But not before they are getting, you know, attacked and, and, and hunted. And also, great stuff. Um, we see here, they, they're fleeing. And there is some kind of a, I don't know, monkey king here. And um, he attacks them, but 
<laughs> Conan chops his, uh, his face off and he's basically dead. I thought, thought to myself, eh, I wish there was a little bit more, you know, more action. But, you know, it, it works. And then we see old Conan again a little bit. And he says, um, you, go feed your dogs. And he kills them with the, uh, with the axe. That's, why am I forgetting these names? <laughs> so, um, last thing we see is that Conan escaping. And, um, and she said, we, well, we don't want to cross the river because there was a lot of soldiers. We're going to do what they, are, uh, what they are not expecting. We go west. And then, well, this, this crazy snake was in, in pain a lot. They're getting, he's getting killed or it is getting killed. We don't know if it's man or female. Um, man or female. That doesn't bring a, that doesn't sound good. You know, female or male? I'm rambling. Okay, let's stop. And uh, and that it concludes the book. And I must say, I really was a little bit on the edge of my, is that how you say it? On the edge of my seat? Because normally I, um, you know, review a comic or uh, read a comic and I really enjoy that and I'm, or I didn't. And then I talk about it. But, but this book is very exciting. You know, you, you're getting sucked up in the world. You're getting sucked up in the action and, and the, the cool visuals and, and the beautiful colors. Uh, I really like that. And then we see all the pages of the books that, you know, this book is translated into this comic. So uh, if you are a book reader, so you basically have the comic and the book rolled into one, uh, which is absolutely great. But there's a big downside uh, for me anyway. Oh, by the way, here's the covers. And this is probably the next cover. For, yeah, this is for the next issue. The big problem for me is it's only 22 pages for four bucks. Um, and I had that problem also with uh, the other Ablaze comic from Conan that I uh, reviewed a couple of, a while ago. I'm not sure. Was it last year? Uh, I don't know. Maybe beginning of this year. Anyway, um, and I had the same problem, you know, we have cool story but then it stops at 22 or maybe 24 pages and i saw, f said hey it was not pri it is not worth the price of admission but then now i'm a little bit you know one i don't want to say older but um people can say but hey marinus you are buying indie comics and some indie comics have 24 pages 28 pages and you pay 10 15 bucks for that or even 25 for 48 pages Maybe. And yeah, actually, that's true. Um, so maybe I shouldn't say that, that it's not worth the price of admission because that's relative. But on the other side, indie comics are made by a couple of guys. And I assume that a studio like a Blaze has a couple of hundreds. Maybe. Not entirely sure. It's definitely not Marvel or DC. Um, and they are cranking out great comics that I want to say because I really like um, I like a Blaze comics and what they are doing. So maybe I shouldn't say that it's not worth it. Uh, I think it's up to the reader and the person uh, you know liking these comics if it's worth it or not. Uh, I think to, yeah I want to say it's expensive, but it's not now that I think about it because I buy comics with twenty eight pages as well for fifteen bucks. So. Uh, excluding shipping costs. So, yeah, that's probably not very fair of me. So, I'm leaving at that. I think, yeah, this is a great comic. If you like Conan, a true Conan uh, books, uh, you, you need to pick up a Blaze comics. I think it's absolutely worth it. Um, I, you, best, you can, you know, start with Sumerian. This is uh, the first um, comic series of a Blaze. Uh, definitely worth it. Pick it up. I think you definitely going to like it. So, in that you know, I'm talking too much again. Guys, um, thank you for watching. Hope you liked the video. Give me a like, share the video, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you next time.